How many of you have ever been faced with the circumstance where God tells you to go somewhere and you're not sure if you're ready or if you even want to go? Well, I'd like to share my experience with you that I had this past weekend at this disciple making conference that shows you the benefit of what happens when you say yes to God telling you to go. So this all started back in early September. I got invited to this conference and I felt super inadequate. And yet after some praying and asking God, I chose to go. Fast forward a couple months and I was introduced to this guy named Mike. Now Mike leads a ministry, an international ministry of making disciples, but Mike also has a heart for welcoming people who feel alone. And Mike and I were paired up for the weekend, and so he got to pour into me in ways that I so needed coming into this situation. And so one of the ways that Mike poured into me was he took me to the local skate park there in Noonan, Georgia, which is an incredible skate park. I would encourage you guys to look up uh, some pictures on it if you get the chance. But uh, so we show up to this skate park and I have about 20-ish minutes to skate and I'm just warming up doing my usual routine a couple of stretches and I get to the top of this ramp and I notice this guy wearing Kiriyuma shoes skating a power board and the power board just happens to be Kelvin Hoffler's pro model turns out it was the man himself for those of you who don't know Kelvin Hoffler is the silver medalist Olympian from these past Olympics. And I was so blown away that he was there at this park. And so I got to talk with him. I got to tell him why I was there, share my faith with him. I even asked him if he prayed to receive Jesus. And all this happened because I showed up to this park because Mike brought me to this park because I said yes to going to this conference. This was, however, not the only highlight of the weekend. I also got to attend a seminar on making disciples the way Jesus did that showed me things about the life of Jesus that I had never seen. Even though I've studied the life of Jesus over and over and over again, it was so clearly laid out in this seminar how Jesus walked with the Spirit and was intentional in everything he did to make disciples before he died on the cross for our sins. And so that was super sick and awesome. And out of that, I met this guy named Dean and Dean introduced me to this guy named Scott. Now Scott was at this conference because he attended the church it was at and was passionate about making disciples. But there was also something else about Scott that was completely unique. Scott had a passion for skaters. Scott had a passion to want to make disciples out of skateboarding. And so being that I was there, I was the only one who could tell him how to make skateboard disciples. And I was able to build a relationship with this guy, tell him about resources that I've used, experiences that I've had, and come alongside him with the excitement of wanting to see him make disciples out of riders there in Georgia. And Lord willing, he will begin doing that very soon here in Georgia as the Spirit wills. So all this is to say that obedience is always worthwhile. Obedience to God is always worth it. He's always going to do things that are going to blow your mind. And we have example after example in scripture of this. With this guy Abram, he left behind his entire culture to follow this unknown God and God made him a great nation. This guy named David showed up and slew a giant because he was faithful to the Lord. This guy named Philip was called to talk to this Ethiopian who he didn't know would go on to create the movement that was the Ethiopian church. And even Jesus himself was called by God to go to earth, to dwell with us, and show us how to make disciples that make disciples before he died on the cross and took the penalty for our sins. So the value of obeying cannot be overstated. 
Because I obeyed, I got to meet Kelvin Hoffler and hang out with him and skate with him and share my faith with him. Because I obeyed, I got to learn things about Jesus that I had never learned in my years of studying. Because I obeyed, I got to meet this guy named Scott and be a resource for him there in Noonan, Georgia. And I watched all these things that like I had felt in the beginning that I was inadequate, that I was alone, that I was scared. And I watched God work through each one of these things in incredible ways, all because I said yes. So I want to share a verse with you guys that I feel like wraps all this up and puts a nice bow on it. And that's Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. And it says to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Sometimes God calls us to things that are downright scary. I was scared to go to this conference. I did not feel qualified. And yet, if we obey, if we follow God's leading for our life, we will see him work in incredible ways, and he will show us where we are supposed to go.